Ancient Aliens is a highly educational show on the History Channel about stuff that actually happened. I did a video on this show a few months back and I found watching it very valuable to me and my intelligence. So I gathered up my pals again to watch three more episodes of, of this wonderful show. I didn't realise we were watching a show about your mum. Good. Yeah, good. Because she's an ancient alien. James Merritt, everyone. Do you want to see the name of the episode we're watching today? I thought you'd thoroughly enjoy this one. I'm excited, man. Nice, yeah. Among Us. <laughs> Fantastic, man. Every action is being monitored. Just cuts to you having a wank in your bath. Right, what? <laughs> Just like every action is monitored. <laughs> you like... Ee -ee -ee. And every one is becoming more accessible than ever before. What if this episode was just about the hit game Among Us? Today we're talking about Among Us. <laughs> Why is this imposter so sus? Watching people on Earth, watching civilization grow, and you have to wonder, isn't this still happening today? These men are idiots. These men are idiots. Well done, James. Good point. Good point. Did ancient aliens really help to shape our history? No. Do you not think, James? No. What do you mean do I not think, George? James, this is... I probably watched about 10 episodes of this show now. And I can say that it's real. It, I know, they know what they're talking about, these guys. You are the last person I would trust with information about aliens. Some of them have PhDs, James. That means we should trust them. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say that. Yes, you can. <laughs> I'm going to type it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> can I show that? No! What do you mean, can you show that? No, you can't! It's very funny. From the United States National Security Agency have been leaked. Among them. Among us. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm. you're not drinking, but I'm drinking every time they say aliens and, uh, 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 and ancient. Aliens and ancient. Okay, and you need to add among us as well. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, every time they or say- Or any, any, any word that would be used in Among Us. Well, like, sus. Well, you think they're going to say sus? Yeah. I don't think they're going to say sus, James. I'll argue some points. One of the documents that Edward Snowden released was about a Project Mystic, which- Which was a game that was to be released in 2017. He found the new Among Us map before it released. Yeah, he did. With a stroke of a key, you can figure out anything you want about a person. I don't think you can. I think you have to be quite skilled to figure out anything about a person. Mm. I, I don't think that statement's true. I can't just look up James Marriott's search history, can I? Oh, you can't look up, you know... Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know where that was going. <laughs> keep your bit in, just don't keep running. Uh -oh. From the perspective that I look at it all is that a long time ago, extraterrestrials provided the basic tools... What they kind of do is they bring in specialists yeah. to give you context, and then they bring in a fucking idiot to just say shit, so you think everyone on it knows what they're talking about. But that guy's just a moron. He's just been brought on to chat shit. Hey, what, what's it? What's his credentials? Yeah, the, his only credential is he's just probably been skydiving or dragged through a fucking bush. <laughs> <laughs> is it possible that we are still being observed? And the answer is a resounding yes. Absolutely, I totally agree, mate. Yeah, resounding. The evidence is all there. No question about it. And that we are being watched, not only by agencies of the government, but by beings from beyond our world. That's real footage. So, yeah, exactly. That's a real That's a real alien, mate. How can you deny it? How can people deny aliens exist? Literally, it's in 4K. In the stories of a group of ancient aliens. Ancient, he said ancient aliens, cheers. Yep, cheers, that's two. In the fourth chapter of the Hebrew Bible's Book of Daniel. Wait, the Book of Daniel? Dam Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Oh, I was gonna say, because <laughs> damn, you'll love how these nuts fit in your mouth. This is why many scholars understand the Watchers to be a class of angels. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so this guy probably actually knows stuff about stuff because he's got like a PhD in religious studies or whatever. And he looks like Jimmy fucking Neutron at the age of 70 years. <laughs> but like, they put them next to these fucking idiots. Yeah. So it just makes them look like fucking idiots as well, <laughs> just by association. Well, no, because the point of it is to make the, the people who have no idea what they're talking about sound resolute and completely knowledgeable when in fact they know nothing to be fair it's, it's the clever people's fault for coming on this show innit I, I don't think they're told I think they're told to just come on and talk specifically about one thing do you think they're not told it's for the show Ancient Aliens and then one day yeah. they just sat down watching the History Channel and they show up it's fascinatingly detailed and the reports of how the how the fuck there's a spaceship fucking hell is this what they're like on the inside I can't believe it George I've literally never seen a spaceship this is mad oh my god I'm Whoa! How is no one going crazy? But they got the inside of a spaceship for this series, man. That's fucking insane. He is an abductee 
by extraterrestrials. That counts. Oh, they're not, what, extraterrestrials? 100%. No. It's a no. synonym of aliens. No. Shut up. No, no, no. Alien. It has to say alien. That's, it's not called ancient extraterrestrials, is it? I woke up this morning unbelievably parched, more so than ever before. So in a desperate attempt to find some good tasting water, I got in my helicopter and flew to the Scottish Highlands. I was soaring through the skies with nothing but my air up bottle and a dream. I'd seen my favorite YouTuber promote this bottle, so I had high expectations. After landing, I scavenged for a water source, fighting the treacherous winds. I finally collected the pure water in my bottle and prepared for the best moment in my life. This was it. This was the moment I had worked so hard for. I lifted the bottle to my lips, sucked through the shore, and it, it tastes like water? What's that? You silly donut. You need to activate the pods by pulling it up. Holy smokes, this is incredible. My whole world has been flipped upside down. I've never experienced something like this before. It tastes like mango, but it's just pure water. It's well good, isn't it? It's all natural with no additives and completely vegan friendly. No way. And it was at this moment I went online and ordered as many flavors as I could. I felt so refreshed, I didn't even fly the helicopter back home. I just ran 500 miles on foot with my air up bottle. But the fun doesn't stop there. As soon as I got home, I thought I'd spice it up a bit and try different drinks with this bottle. The sky well and truly is the limit with the air up bottle and they're always bringing out more flavors every month and you can try it for yourself by clicking the link in my description and thank you to air up for sponsoring this video Enoch is talking about flesh and blood beings who came do you reckon they also taught us about fleshlights i think so because you gotta think about it they must have thought that maybe that was their end goal for us to make prosthetic pussies can you please put um a caption under this saying put this around your cock i'm just gonna say something in alien beep, beep, bleep, beep, beep, Ancient astronaut theorists it's an ancient. and in ancient Chinese legend, the divine ruler Huang Di introduced numerous advancements such as the wheel. Ah, look at his ass. He's got his ass out. Uh, he showed his bum. What are you going to do? Do a fart? <laughs> Stories of the Anunnaki or the Watchers. Why has no god come down to me and imparted on me some knowledge? Like how to get people to, to spend time with me, for example. <laughs> Why does no one explain that one? James, I spend plenty of time with you watching these these things. Because it makes you money, George. I do see you a lot, James. It makes you money. I make you money, George. James, we just spent we spent a week in Spain together on a nice holiday. We went on a holly bob together. Holly bob together. We James. went on holly bobs together. <laughs> <laughs> we missed the flatty tubes for a little bit of holly bobs. In the center of the room is a giant spinning Whoa. hologram of a pyramid. Shut up. With three smaller upside down pyramids inside it. James, it's Illuminati. Do you remember that? Illuminati confirmed. So stupid. The funny meme. Illuminati confirmed. Do, 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 do. That this centuries old secret society is alive and well in the 21st century. As evidenced, by symbols for that's not evidence she's so waving her hands that's I'm not start evidence doing is it? it i'm gonna start that's doing like no fucking triangle i'm gonna start doing gigs soon yeah right yeah because i'm releasing a new ep bit of tongues pre-save it like a description all right yeah yeah do it all right i'm just gonna get on stage do this shit the whole time <laughs> guys everyone please don't use the context of this and me saying to take this out of context please screenshot this image and post it on Twitter and say, <laughs> it's getting kind of creepy how James keeps making these triangle images. And say that I do it all the time. And he formulated plans so that his group could infiltrate all the key powers of society. It's effectively like trying to get a load of imposters together to to infiltrate society. Drink. Oh, my fucking hell. <laughs> he said imposters. <laughs> no, he didn't. What? Who said imposters? You did. No, you I did. Sorry. 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 I just... No, it doesn't count. It doesn't count if I say it. Wait! Do you reckon these dickheads actually believe what they're saying? Oh, yeah, fully. Yeah, 100%. Well, maybe, actually, I think some of them must be acting at, at a certain level. Like, the ones that yeah. are on it all the time, they must be acting. Like, the, the guy with the funny hair. They not only have survived, but managed to live among us in secret. All right, cheers. <laughs> ancient astronaut theorists. Ancient. Ancient. All right, ancient crewmates. <laughs> ancient crewmates. Ancient crewmates speculate there are many imposters on this earth. Some ancient astronaut theorists contend Gone. Uh, is evidence that ancient people Gone. really were forced underground by a great cataclysmic event. Among Us surface went down. There was an emergency meeting. <laughs> was constructed with the help of extraterrestrials to provide shelter. Fucking hell, look at that! I really like the idea of just like 
taking every image as gospel but none of what they're saying so like every time they say something we're like you're a fucking idiot but every time we actually see a spaceship we're like what in the middle of the himalayas what did he just say the himalayas ah! what the fuck why are there so many different types of spaceship i love it whenever you scream i just say oh! and then you just like i go like and you can't hear it anymore. This one just cuts it off. Could these ancient sites that defy explanation? Right. Ancient astronaut theorists contend. Yeah. Ugh. Who contends this? Can someone like? Can we put a name on this? They just always say ancient astronaut theorists. This is such bollocks because there is. A, I, I think there is actually. Like, it is quite rational to think. Oh, what if aliens have visited us in the past and look at things from the past? But this is just reaching. This is. There's no yeah. reason to think that aliens visited us because of this. Some kind of asteroid strike. Or perhaps a comet hit the Earth? Your mum when she rolls out of bed. Ah, <laughs> nice zing. Ancient astronaut theorist. Alright. I want to, I want to like slam a spike through my fucking head. <laughs> you must understand that in many ways they're the intermediary race. Me, Me when, when I'm I bust doing a the fat big nub. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Exactly the same time. But like the angels, they can shape shift. Me abducting a child. Yeah, but. <laughs> How long is left of this, George? I want to kill myself. But if the Watchers... What the fuck is that? <laughs> they still be living among us. Among us. <laughs> <laughs> Ancient astronaut theorists... Ancient. ...in recent accounts of alien abductions. <gasps> ah! It's a fucking UFO, George! But if extraterrestrial yeah, beings known you. as Watchers are still living among us today... Among us. <laughs> Among us. After years of hypnosis, psych exams. I feel like this is fucking hypnosis, man. I can barely think. <laughs> my brain has turned to an actual cabbage. That are commonly identified today as grey aliens. Drink. All right. The abductees knew that they were dealing with something that knew everything about them. I hope there's not something that knows everything about me. What's your biggest secret, George? My biggest secret it has to be that I'm. I think I'm. I'm too caring of others and. Uh, I fight too much for women's rights. <laughs> I think those have to be my deepest, darkest secrets. What about yours? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I abduct children. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be in a fucking Netflix true crime documentary in 10 yeah. years time. He was telling you all along. In 1961, Betty and Barney Hill of Lancaster, New Hampshire, made one of the what the alien fuck? <laughs> I, love that. I wasn't even looking at the screen what the time it was placed naked on examination tables my jaw is on the floor or might there be another explanation some ancient astronaut oh i don't need another explanation can we just end it <laughs> he's that ancient but James, you need the full story here, don't you? need the full yeah, story to understand. Could it be that extraterrestrials are abducting humans? What on fucking earth? Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I did. Hiding among us. Among us. Among us. At the United States government's most secret projects. Please. Fuck! <laughs> you thought it was over. You thought. And because it is built into every Apple device, some people use the cloud without even realizing it. To be fair, I yeah, that is true. I I was using iCloud for years without even. Yeah, realizing that doesn't it. mean any of this it is does, validated, James. George. James, this is valid because they said something that relates to me. But there are some who believe the highly interconnected society who? we now live in. Who believes this? Me. Did you not see the alien spaceships, James? Did you not see the footage of the aliens? Yeah, that shit's real, man, but everything else is dumb. To root out the watchers who have been hiding among us. <laughs> <laughs> Extraterrestrial groups that are in conflict with each other. Fuck it out! Out. How the fuck do you know that, Mary? How did they get that footage? How did they get that footage? <sighs> Fucking hell, where's this from? Where was this footage taken? Perhaps very soon, we will discover that aliens have been among us. A aliens among us. <laughs> but also, theirs. Fucking hell! Did you see that spaceship? Fucking hell, they left that right for the end. I'm going to bed. Hello, Jack. We're going to be watching some more ancient aliens. Yeah, great, 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 great. We're going to be doing the same drinking game as last time. Every time they say the word ancient or aliens, we have to drink.
I'm prepared. Cowboys with six shooters. Oh yeah, this one's about uh, aliens and the old west. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You just said that like it's casual. What do you mean aliens in the in the old west? Well, I guess we'll find out. I don't know. I haven't watched this yet. You mean to tell me aliens were kicking about with Clint Eastwood? I think so. Well, Clint Eastwood wasn't actually in the old west, Jack. He was an actor. He's what's known as an actor. He acted in films about the old west. The old west was like, um... John Marsden from Red Dead Redemption. He existed. Oh, he was real, yeah, yeah. I also like the fact that you're like telling me like, no, Jack, it would be silly to think that Clint Eastwood <laughs> was actually in the Wild West. However, it's not ridiculous to think <laughs> aliens were. Aliens were definitely there. Clint, however, that's ridiculous, Jack. Well, it is. Aliens being there is more likely than Clint Eastwood being there. No, you know what? I actually do hate the fact that you're probably right as well. Ancient aliens have been around for tens of- Aliens, and it's an ancient aliens, cheers. Is that, it's that's the it. name of the show. Oh, I pulled that really strong. I'm hung over today. I shouldn't be doing this. Oh, it's the movie Cowboys and Aliens. This is where they got that, this idea from, isn't it? They just thought they watched Cowboys and Aliens and thought, yeah, this happened. Yeah, this is this is an episode. Harrison Ford would never lie. In the 2011 film, Cowboys and Aliens. In the 2011 documentary, Cowboys and Aliens. They said aliens, bro. Oh yeah, oh shit, yeah. Based on the graphic novel by Scott Mitchell Rosenberg. Based on the comic. Based on the history books. Based on Marvel Comics Iron Man, Iron Man happened. How would Stan Lee come up with those ideas unless he'd seen them? Is that Joe Rogan on the right? Wait, what? Look like Joe Rogan. <laughs> That's, what, in what world is that Joe Rogan? Rogan it, used to have hair, man. Yeah, but he doesn't look like that. That's not just a bloke. That's just like a balding man. Joe Rogan. I mean, you just described Joe Rogan. Well done. And also that there was the charred remains of what appeared to be, to him, uh, an alien from another planet. George, you're not, you're not on the fucking ball with this drinking game. Oh, man. shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Cheers. Sorry, I'm just so into this. You're just so interested. You just want to know I am. where the aliens were. Was given a Christian burial and put in an unmarked grave. Wait, if it was put in an unmarked grave, just dig it up then. Well, it's unmarked. They don't know where it is, do they? Well, yeah, but the, it, it's got to be nearby, doesn't it? Just look for unmarked graves in the area. Well, they're just going to dig up the soil nearby, Jack. Fucking use your head. They fucking found Richard III by digging up a car park in Leicester, all right? That was, that was by accident. They weren't looking for him. They were trying to build a nice new car park. Exactly. Get digging. Make a car park there. Reportedly was cleaning out the debris from the well when he later developed an extremely severe case of arthritis which he claimed what? to be the result of the contaminated water oh, oh that's that pretty bad no that's that quite bad that's, fairness, that's quite bad i'd say that is that is quite bad arthritis. all right i thought he was just gonna have some like a bit easy. his arms his fingers are a bit achy i'd be a bit peeved off if, if i was cleaning my well and i got and that happened to me i would have to i'd have to tie that to aliens no only alien technology could do that to a man it was a bad enough case of arthritis he'd eventually killed him hey he died from arthritis how, how did he kill him where's the doctor who backs that up because that sounds like bullshit. which was the rationale behind his uh, his arthritis Poor guy, he never had a wank again. <laughs> Unusually high traces of aluminum. Aluminium, not aluminum, aluminium. Fucking Americans! This is why no one believes your alien stories. Can't speak properly. <laughs> speak the Queen's English or don't speak at all. Bash! Bosh! Could the events that happened on a Texas farm in the early hours of April 17th, 1897, really be evidence of an alien close alien. encounter? Yes! What? You've got the video. Alien. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, to be fair, why are people questioning this? We've literally got video evidence of it happening. Gorgeous. People will believe what they want to believe. President George Washington. Do you think George Washington fucked? Do you think he got, like, some bad bitches? Hell yeah, he fucked. He was the president, man. He got some bad bitches. 100% he's the president, man. You think Joe Biden fucks? Gigantic structure which just sits there in the middle of a very interesting landscape. <laughs> of course, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and depicts a coiled snake eating what appears to be an egg. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy. This is this is this is the aliens' message to us. It's one of those mysterious mounds that this bloke's written an entire book on it. He must get he must get no bitches. You write a whole book about a snake hill, not even a hill, like a little snake thing in a in a golf course. You walk up to a girl and you say, "Hey, let me tell you about snake mound." She's hey, leaving. I'm a published author. I wrote a whole book about snake mounds. Three hundred million years ago, a meteor came into this area. How do you know? Were you there? How do you, were you about? And they could feel the positive energy that's coming out of the ground. 
Surely me and yours have hit the basic. Oh, it's him! It's him, I'm Giorgio! Well, surely it's a thing. Like, saying, like, they're saying it's because um, a, a meteor hit the Earth and it's on top of it, and that's why it's weird. Surely meteors have hit everywhere on Earth. That's how Earth was made. I don't know, man. I... They're so silly. This is so foolish. I actually genuinely lose track halfway through. Like, every time. <laughs> oh, I, what, was their, what was their point? Isn't this about cowboys? I don't know. Where are the cowboys? I don't know. I want to see fucking cowboys. They've, they've blue balls me here. When you're out beyond Jupiter and there's no sunlight and there's no nothing. <laughs> Why did he say that like it was relatable? When you're out beyond Jupiter, you know, and there's no sunlight, we've all been there. You know, your headlights aren't working properly. I reckon he's an alien. That's why he's on the show. That's why he's an expert. It's pretty large. And since this site is believed to be many, many millions of years old. But it could have also have been a sign for people to, that they're like, oh, when you get to the big snake thing, the iridium is here. Why does it have to be aliens, huh? <laughs> right, George, no, you're losing me now. You're sounding like them. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. According to Zuni elder Clifford Mahoudi, the Shawnee. Oh, that was a bar and a half. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, listen to this. Okay. According to Zuni elder Clifford Mahoudi. Zuni elder Clifford Mahoudi. <laughs> No, it's got flow, it's got flow. <laughs> the mound builders, I believe, were those Indian tribes that had contact with the extraterrestrials. Why don't we just ask them then? Hold on. If we know that these Native American tribes spoke to the aliens, ask them. I don't think they're alive anymore, Jack. Yeah, but surely they passed it down. Right, George, here's the thing. Yeah, but right? we, everyone passes down stories, but it's like they get like distorted over time, don't they? As they get passed down. Or maybe they were just lying. People lie, Jack. People do lie. There's some snakes in this world. Maybe that's what the aliens were warning us about. Serpent Mound? Hey. Serpent Mound. They were warning us. At the height of the night sky 5,000 years ago, the constellation Draconis. Is it just me that thinks constellations are bullshit? Like, I, I look up in the night sky and I can't, people are like, there's a, there's a spoon. It's like, no, there's not. There's not a spoon. There's stars. No, they are just stars at the end of the day. Some believe that because of its magnetic anomalies. Where are the cowboys? Fed up with talking about this snake. This episode isn't as exciting as I thought it would be. They're just talking about, like, limestone and shit. I want cowboys. I want some rootin' tootin' cowboys, not, not limestone. I want some rootin', some tootin', some shootin'. Could the Serpent Mound have been a source of great energy. <laughs> Fucking out! How long are they gonna talk about this no, fucking no, snake it kill for? I'll tell you why, George. Why? Because all the TikTok girls with their stones would be gathering by the millions to charge their stones at Snake Mound. It's a tragedy that not only have we forgotten how to. We should never listen to someone with a Birmingham accent. That's very true. I couldn't even hear him. I've learned to tune them out. When that reactivation occurs, that'll be the beginning of the restoral of the earth. I didn't realize it wasn't, what do you mean restoring it? What, what's wrong with I it? I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 last time I checked, the earth is here. I, yeah, I thought, I mean, I'm still kicking about on it. I think the earth's doing all right. Where, where, where's he fucked off to? He just hasn't left his house in a long time. He thinks it's all like, it's all gone to shit. He reckons they've shifted him to Venus. It's not climate change. We've just moved planets. Wake up people. 17 year old Joseph Smith had a vision of someone or something, not of this world. It was late at night, it was dark. How do you know, how do you know you weren't there, Andrew? <gasps> Jeez. An extraterrestrial whose mission was to pass down to Smith and his followers the advanced knowledge of the mound builders. Surely if an alien wanted to pass on knowledge to humans, they wouldn't just go to like one 17 year old. Yeah, this is the thing. This is the thing I find kind of difficult to believe by a lot of like these sort of origin stories. Why are, they, why are you rocking up to one bloke? You know what I'd do? You know what I'd do, George? I'd make a YouTube video. No, no, it didn't exist back then. Let's let's be realistic. Right. Let's, let, you know, let's, let's, please. I would go to the middle of a town square and ring ye old bell and be like, yeah. hi everyone. I'm an alien, got some shit to say. All of a sudden, right? The record keeper is going to get way better, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I guess the fear might be that a bunch of humans might gang up on you. Yeah, but if you're an alien, you can just kind of fuck off. Exactly. I'll just get back in my ship if they do that. So oftentimes, lights in the sky. Who are you? Oh, sorry. Oh, it's uh, Top, Gear. Top Gear. Is that the American Top Gear cast? Wankers. That's so weird. I didn't know they had an American version of Top Gear. I didn't know they had it either. And I tell you what, him on the left is nothing compared to our Jezza Clarkson. Although Smith died in 1844, the victim of mob violence. <laughs> Fuck it out! Well, I think that's the way I'm gonna end up going, Jack. Mob violence. <laughs> mob violence. One day I'm gonna go to Birmingham and they're not gonna like the things I said about them. The day George Mimula's face reveals, the next week he's gonna get <laughs> he's falling victim to mob violence. <laughs> people are gonna spot him in the streets, the people of the UK, and go, you're the fucking bloke who shit on little T. And they're gonna <laughs> batter the fuck out of him. Very ordinary 
daily life occurrences. That fella has made such a good living off just being like nuts, hasn't he? To be fair, George, we can't really talk. They look like beings with halos. The, he's, no, he looks like a being with his cock out. Skip that back. <laughs> Get his knob out, George. They look like beings. Oh my god, he does as well! Out. He's fucking hung! Wow, I wish I was him. Oh my god, if I had a halo and a massive knob, the things I'd do. The next day, he tracked it down, found a large stone embedded in the side of a mountain. Do you notice how, like, after every single UFO crash, it's only one singular person that finds it? It's never, like, a group of people. It's just, like, one bloke. Yeah, you know why, George? Because then the government, they come along and they clear yeah, it all yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. No one ever gets to it before they do that, George. It's always just, like, a bloke out on his ones in, like, the middle of the forest. <laughs> yeah, because to be f I'm not trying to be rude, George, but the people who believe in this sort of stuff are generally people who are often out on their ones. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Star beings are still very much amongst us. Oh, they almost you said missed among the us. opportunity, you prick. Cross the frontier. Oh, oh here we go, cowboys. Some cowboys. Woo! Might they have experienced as they made their way? Further west. The implication of that is that you just shot an alien. <laughs> if you spotted an alien, George, and you had a gun on you, do you reckon you would shoot it? No, I don't think so. I want to talk to it. Yeah, but what if it came off a bit hostile? Uh, I'd be like, all right, calm down, mate. Calm down, mate. Right, George, I'm an alien. I'm an alien. You've just spotted me in the street. Listen, mate. Listen, mate. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be calm with you. <laughs> right. I'm. Right, if, if you keep on like this, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to use restraint. I'm a. I'm a black belt in the UFC. I. I fight, I fight in the UFC. George, I don't understand you because I speak alien language. I'm going, bleh, bleh. I'm like panicking because I'm on a, a foreign planet, planet and you're Yeah, like, but I was speaking the universal language of English. Everyone speaks English. Everyone speaks the Queens. <laughs> Everyone speaks the Queens. They should. I'd be like, listen, mate, you're in England now. <laughs> speak bloody English or get out. And at which point would you proceed to batter the alien for not leaving? I call immigration. I get, I get on the phone to a big boss. Uh, boss, it's bloke here, not speaking English. Not making much sense. Not of this earth, buzzer. Not of this earth. And, it, and, Bor and Boris will be like, all right, bosh. And then he'll send like people around and they'll, it, they'll sort it out. So were all of those stories just campfire stories that were invented on the spot? Yes, this is like saying, mate, I saw The Shining. <laughs> this cannot be made. He was like, <laughs> this cannot just be a story. Stephen King must have seen something. In a nutshell, transcendentalism reminded young America that all things are not knowable and that some things are knowable, but not through the five senses. Fucking hell, look at the sight, look at the height on that hat. That's quite a piece of headwear, my friends. You reckon he's got like head on underneath there as well. Do you think he's overcompensating for something? Do you reckon he's just like, you know, the bigger hat, the bigger the hat, the smaller the cop? <laughs> no, I reckon it's Megamind under there. Another strong influence on the way 19th century Americans viewed the world was the emergence of a new genre of literature, science fiction. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me there might be some fact in the science fiction. Yeah, mate. Do you know Star Wars actually happened? It just happened a long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. It says it right there. How can you do Would George Lucas lie? Would he lie? No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He exactly. He wouldn't go back and alter the footage either. Because it is factually accurate. Who believed strongly in the possibility of life beyond our world. That's just the Mr. Bean intro, that. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Mr. Bean is an alien. Yeah, canonically. That's what I find crazy about him. He's the fucking Mr. Mr. Bean intro. <laughs> they watched this and went, this happened. In the TV show, Mr. Bean, <laughs> they send a funny bloke down to England. This actually happened. In the documentary, Mr. Bean, <laughs> an alien is documented to visit the country of the United <laughs> Kingdom to <laughs> study the great folk. Oh, I love the Mr. Bean YouTube channel. Hey, what is the Mr. Bean? Because Mr. Bean YouTube channel has like 20 million subscribers. Or yeah, something. no, he, he, he did a video celebrating his fucking 10 mil plan. <laughs> Million 30 million subscribers! Mil. Fucking hell! It's not on. Nine billion- You know there's only like 15 episodes of this TV show? You know what's crazy about it to me, right? Rowan Atkinson was like on- He was on some fucking talk show and he's like, Yeah, I don't want to do any more Mr. Bean because I think I've done what I can with it and I really wouldn't want to milk something for like, you know. What- What are NFTs? Mr. Bean is taking his first steps into the metaverse. Wait, what? Mr. Bean buys his first ever NFT- Hang on, what are the comments saying? No! They made Mr. Oh. NFTs! Oh, fuck off! <laughs> no. I love the idea, right, that Mr. Bean buys an NFT, right? Which is yeah. like, the whole point is that you own it digitally, and then he prints it off and puts it on his wall! 
I'm gonna say, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and find these. Mr. Bean NFT Discord. No. Oh, it's been infiltrated by scammers. Oh no. This is good. The first thing you come, that comes up when you type in Mr. Bean NFT. There's a Mr. Bean NFT collection, and we've officially entered the end times. It's so upsetting. Because like, it, what pisses me off is like he said, oh, I don't want to milk the franchise. Like I've done what I've done with it. Yeah. I don't think it's funny anymore. And then literally, they make this YouTube channel milk the fuck out of it. And like make NFTs and shit. It's not Ryan Atkinson. It's just like some fucker. No, but like he is still involved because when they do like the thirty mil special, he still shows up and it pisses me off. I hate the fact that like it seems like he's sold out and it makes me sad because I like that guy. At the surface of it, when we think about our modern theory of relativity and that you can bend space and time, it seems not so crazy. It, it hurts my head when they say into another dimension. Dimension? Oh it, no, it's so it's so wrong that it pisses me off. Why do you think it's wrong? Well, you, dimensions are like, so you know how, you, right, so you have like... What about the fifth dimension? The metaverse. No, George. They're not real scientists, George, like myself. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what? You think the people on this show are qualified scientists? No! Some of them have PhDs, but they're in, like, folklore or some bullshit. <laughs> None of these people went to, like, actual university. They probably went, you're like, Andrew Tate's Hustler University. <laughs> <laughs> probably got, like, a PhD from there. That letter ended with this ominous line. As for me, I leave tomorrow for an unknown destination. Fuck off. Fuck off. No. That's so stupid. No, it's not. He's just, he just doesn't want to tell them where he's going. He's actually going to Insomnia Gaming Festival in Birmingham. He doesn't want to. He's going to I-69. It's the sex <laughs> number this year. This is rated PG, by the way, George. So, you know. Yeah, I need my, I need my mummy with me to watch this. <laughs> it's fine. I'm here, George. Daddy's here. Huh? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's best you missed that, mate. All right, well, I guess I'll see it in post. You will see it in post. You will see it in post. I was just thinking, right? Isn't it, like, convenient how all these things take place in America? It's, like, rare that you ever see him talk about, oh, yeah, this happened in, in like, I don't know, France. This is how Americans operate. Like, like yeah. they genuinely believe their little country... Well, not their little country, it's a big fucking place, but, like, that place is, like, the whole world. It's, like, I find this with a lot of, like, shows like this where, like, they do not consider anything to do with the rest of the world. It's, like, America. These ranchers claim to have been harassed and tormented by some sort of uh, monstrous beast. Yeah, it's your mother. <laughs> You've had it there, George. Uh, the ranchers who claim to have- Why that- why that cow on the roof? <laughs> why that cow- what that cow doing on the roof? Yo, cow on the roof! If a portal to another dimension, or another part of the universe- That's a whirlpool. It doesn't lie at the bottom of a lake in California. That is a fucking whirlpool in water. And they're like, if a portal- <laughs> Oh! Like, they're just looking at normal everyday shit and being like, this portal. <laughs> this eyes was able to literally pierce and emanate fire. The Birmingham was so strong, I genuinely didn't understand it. That to me suggests that we could be dealing with some sort of craft. I don't know what he's on. Is he on about like snobs, Birmingham or something like prism there? What's he on? Is he on about the bull ring? I have no idea what he's on about. I had a very good night in prism the other night. When I hear a story and I might not believe, I don't disbelieve either. What? I might not believe it, but I don't disbelieve it either. Most gullible man to ever live. Just say you're fucking gullible. Gullible, mate. Wait till I tell you about what's on the ceiling. Are we getting closer to unlocking the secrets of our past and opening a doorway to our future? All right, nice one. Did you learn anything today, Jack? <laughs> Some of this script is fully just words, isn't it? It's just, it's copy paste. That uh, And every episode ends in like a really similar way. They just copy and paste the same format and just change a few words. The whole show reeks of like, I'm I, 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 I had a fucking essay to write and only 12 hours to do it. <laughs> Alright, Karen, the episode we're gonna be watching is called Aliens and Superheroes. Oh, I like aliens. I fucking hate superheroes. Oh, yeah, they're awful. I, I, I don't like Marvel films all that much. Oh, thank fuck. A man of culture. I just don't get. I, I mean, I was speaking to someone about this the other day. I'd say like four out of five of them are bad or mid. Four out of five Marvel <laughs> films are bad or mid. There's like one in five that's good. I like the Spider Man, the most recent Spider Man one. I liked Infinity War. I'm drinking coffee. Guinness. <laughs> what the f what? Guinness is bad enough. Coffee Guinness. Super speed. <laughs> what is it about? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at this animation. Super speed. What the f <laughs> that was like if you search like man running green screen. <laughs> but could these ancient stories that continue to be retold today have extraterrestrial origins. Do you think they have extraterrestrial origins, Kieran? I think they could. I think they could be inspired by aliens. I think Marvel could be inspired by aliens. I think Stan Lee himself was an alien. And if so, 
Could there be a connection between aliens and today's <laughs> superheroes? Probably not, no, no. How has this been commissioned? Why did they come? What did they leave behind? I am an alien, we came here and I made pyramid. Why do you make a fucking pyramid? To show their might. They travel across the universe to make a big pyramid. Are we drinking every time they say ancient or aliens? Okay. I would come back and I would, I would make a Nintendo DS. Yeah, to be fair, you would. You just like chuck like a Nokia phone in like the, in the ancient times, see what they do with it. But there is an important difference between the, the Olympians and the fictional superheroes of today. Superman is the worst. Well, yeah, he's just, he's, just, he's just such a wanky one because he, he's got like one weakness, which is kryptonite. He can do anything. I'm just like, oh yeah, I, I just want to do everything. You're like, brilliant. That's really fun. A huge difference between the ancient world. Ancient, ancient. Oh, you... Oh. The ancients believed that these heroes... Ancients? Uh, yeah, that doesn't count. Ancients, does that count? Yeah, sure, why not? It's Hercules, the Zeus, the Olympian gods play every aspect of who she is. I really want to get like a renaissance painting of me. You want to get a renaissance <laughs> picture of you? <laughs> I just think that would be so funny. To be fair, that would be set like, uh, not not just like a tiny one, but you know like one of the massive ones they would have in like their great tall, like an eight foot tall picture of you. Oh, uh, like a Sistine Chapel ceiling of me <laughs> like, fighting a lion. And if the people who worship these gods believe them to be real, is it possible they actually were? No. To fit the location and description given no. by the 8th century BC poet Hesiod for the childhood home of Zeus, the leader of the Olympians. Wait, do people actually think Zeus existed? I thought like even back then they were like, this is mythology. This is like not, this is like, like Marvel films. I thought, I would have thought, I thought mythology back then was like their Marvel films. Yeah, just like... Everyone was like, well, it's not real, yeah. but it's, it's just like, you know, it's like Easter. <laughs> it's, it's the Easter bunny. <laughs> so, you know, it was, what philosophers or scholars or whatever think, oh, yeah, yeah, Zeus lived in this cave for sure, for sure. If he was Zeus, why the fuck would he live in a cave? But could the ancient Greeks... Ancient. These stories of these gods that had these supernatural, magical powers. Why do these fuckers take- why do- oh great, it's him again. Why do these fuckers take everything so literally? It's like, it'll be, it'll be like a picture on a wall, and they'll be like, wow, this yeah. happened. I'm like, well no, it's a horse with eight heads. And they're like, well that must mean that they saw it. No, it fucking doesn't! What was it that was described? In my opinion, it was people who had access to advanced technology. Oh yeah, what, in your expert opinion? Fucking hell, mate. My expert opinion, he needs to get a fucking airbrush. <laughs> That's what super implies. If I ever grow a goatee, sneak <laughs> up on me. And me. <laughs> Historian and author Joseph Campbell found that even cultures that had never had contact with the outside world develop similar hero stories. Well, I mean, it is kind of what humans do, you know. To me, suggests that they were visited by the same teachers. Well, so like every single ancient tribe or tribe that's been isolated from humanity has had aliens come down and talk. Do you, really? 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 I don't think so. Do you think people like, like was it North Sentinel Island? <laughs> yeah. Do you think the aliens are regularly visiting them? Do you, is that what you think? No, uh, I love those guys. They're just yeah. like fucking nuts. So you go over and just say hello and they're <laughs> fucking dead. <laughs> there was like some fucking American Christian missionary when I went yeah, over there. Yeah, they went over there, gave them all a disease and they were just like, yeah, never, never fucking again. And now no one just goes near them. Some guy did it recently and they just fucking murdered him immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair enough. And I love how just no one bothers them. If America wanted to invade North Sentinel Island, they definitely could, but they just, no, no one bothers them, and I like that. Those are part of a number of different stories of superheroes. Folklorist. That's not a job. <laughs> it is. It said there, right there. Folklorist. Also, Kieran, you're a fucking YouTuber. YouTuber is less of a job than folk. Actually, no, folklorist is definitely less of a job. <laughs> what the fuck? What does that even mean? What does folklorist? I'm going to look that I'm going to look up the definition for that. He just reads folklore. Like, I don't know. Like, what? what did she go into an office to read folklore? Person who studies folklore, especially as an academic subject. Is that like teaching mm. like like art history? Yeah, it's like, it's not, it's, come on, you never left school. That's what you've done. These extraterrestrial gods coming from other planets to Earth in order to help us 
and move our planet forward. That's the most generic thing you can think up. Something came from another planet and it's magical. Oh wow. Even the iconic S on Superman's chest seems to have been adapted from legends told thousands of years ago. I don't think, I think someone just drew an S mate. Yeah, it's the beginning of his name. In Christian art, you will see Jesus wearing a glowing robe with a glowing heart. I don't think that inspired the Superman S. I think someone just, just put an S for <laughs> Superman. I don't think it's that deep. Today, almost every superhero has an icon on his chest. They're showing Batman quite a lot, considering he has no powers. He's just quite rich. Yeah, I believe in Batman, personally. I mean, he could. Batman is feasible. He's a feasible superhero. Yeah. And the stories of Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man are based on our ancestors' experiences with extraterrestrials. No, I don't think so. Sorry, mate. You've got a beetle for a head. To be fair, that is quite mad, that. I'd love to see that. That'd be sick. This fella does... Most of the people in here have a PhD. This fella doesn't even have a PhD. Why should? Why are we listening to him? It just comes up on the bottom. Man off street. <laughs> but because our ancient ancestors... Ancient! Oh, fuck. It is possible some deep part of us, perhaps in our DNA or genetic memory, is remembering. I don't think, uh, mate, I'm not remembering what like my ancestors a million years yeah. ago for, am I? I? I remember when my ancestor crawled out the fucking ocean. A clear description of a war in heaven. A war in heaven? That's, that's I feel like that's against the rules. He looks different to how he did earlier in this. Or am I tripping? He had like a haircut or something. And when they came together at the firmament, they were- What is it? Is this from like Halo or something? No, this is fo this is real footage. This is real footage. <laughs> <laughs> they found it in the pyramids. On the <laughs> Kieran, this actually happens. Kieran, this is on the History Channel. Are you really going to question if this happened oh they wouldn't put it in the history <laughs> channel if it didn't happen <laughs> trading standards need to look at that you can't put this in the history channel and it would seem that these ancient epic stories yeah ancient he said ancient oh yeah could it be that modern stories in which superheroes battle arch villains for dominance over the earth are actually based on ancient wars uh, ancient war. i think it is i think oh, it is Jesus Christ. There's no other explanation for it. Sumerian texts make mysterious references to these other planets. It's mad that this actually happened. I can't believe it. They don't fucking teach you this in school, do they? They don't. They don't. They want to hide it from us, Kieran. That's why. They don't want us to know our real history. They'll happily teach us algebra and all that this shit. Is a joke. But they're not going to teach us about this, the real stuff that we need to know. Could the asteroid belt that circles the sun between Mars and Jupiter really be the remnants of a planet. Fucking massive planet, like. A planet that was destroyed in an alien <laughs> war. <laughs> Fuck off! Yeah, alien space Fuck war. Off. Are these ancient events echo today in the plots of modern superhero stories? No. I got a question. Mm. How come none of this shit happens now? How come this all happened like 2,000 years ago when there was like no record or of anything? Right? It's because we just don't believe in it enough. If we believed it enough, it would start happening again. Like apparently like 10,000 years ago, this was happening all the time. Like aliens were just kicking about all the time. Where are they now? Oh, constant, constant. Yeah, oh, they were geez, just flying are... about. Supernatural or extraterrestrial beings are coming to our aid and helping us against the greatest evil the world has ever known. Why didn't the aliens give him like an iPhone? I think that'd be funny. Why didn't the aliens stay? Maybe they might. They might have stayed and they, oh. live, they live among us. Oh. I've seen a couple aliens in a night out. Yeah. <laughs> like if I found like, say I could like travel to another planet and I found a civilization about 10,000 years behind ours. I'd just drop, an, an, just drop an iPhone and see what happens. I would I would become king yeah. and then just do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it's like if I found an ant colony now, I would control them. I'd simply give them a tang fastic and see and see their reaction. Unhappy with her son's physical problems, one Greek legend says Hera threw him off the mountain. What? Oh, that's not. What? He fell for nine days and nine nights. He fell for nine days. How big is this fucking mountain? Nine days. Nine days. And nine nights. Not even. He didn't even rest. Working underneath an active volcano, Hephaestus is said to have forged magical objects. Right, what, and they, are they taking this as, as like real life canon? Are they like, oh yeah, he actually lived in the volcano, <laughs> guy. He lived in the volcano, guys. They just, they didn't have films there. <laughs> they just, these are films. They just made them up. The god of the sun rode across the skies. Oh, tiny cock. cock. Tiny cock. That's embarrassing, mate. You're a god. If I was a god, I'd just make my cock massive. Yeah, I'd have it would be insane. I'd shoot lightning at the end of it. Is it possible that Hephaestus was an extraterrestrial being? No, it's fucking not! He didn't live in a volcano! What are you on about? I believe he seems like a very 
sensible man, I believe. Ancient should astronaut theorists be like, is it possible the man, the man lifted the volcano and made magic weapons for everyone? <laughs> no! Batman. Created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger. Finger. Bill Finger. You can't be called. That's not a surname. That's a nickname he's got. I'm gonna follow you. <laughs> He's, he's got that. <laughs> he's got fingering a bird behind prison. <laughs> oh, it's Bill Finger. Yeah, yeah, it's me. I get it. Milton Finger. That's his name. Milton Finger. It sounds like a chocolate bar. Milton Finger. We see a similarity with modern day superheroes and some of the ancient texts of a god. They're just putting something out of nothing now. Honestly, they're saying words and it's just yeah. not going in my head. Surely the, even the people on this show saying this shit don't believe it. Oh, no chance. Charlatans, a lot of them. Gods at war and extraterrestrials coming from the heavens. Well, they don't want to say, they keep saying extraterrestrials. They don't want to say alien. They don't say alien, no, you're right. So alien sounds stupid, but extraterrestrials, that sounds intelligent. Yeah. They know what they're talking about when they say extraterrestrials. That's the official term for it. As evidence, they cite an ancient story. You can't say as evidence. Here's a story I heard. As evidence, here's a cave painting from 10,000 years ago. I saw a Reddit post, so... <laughs> because it is written in our genetic memory that we have special abilities hidden within ourselves. I fucking wish. I wish I had some special ability. That activate this dormant DNA within us, that propel us. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm having a conversation with someone in a kitchen at an afters at yeah, about four in the morning. Yeah, but like, and you try, you're trying to figure out an excuse to get away from them and go and talk to the other group of people. <laughs> you're just wondering why the fuck are you there? But they just won't stop. They just won't fucking stop. Hiding extraordinary powers deep inside all of us. There he is. There go. Oh wow, look at yeah. him go. Oh, so fast. Marvel Comics editor Stan Lee wants to create a new oh, breed wow, of superhero. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's the most interesting thing in this in this episode. <laughs> Young Stan Lee. <laughs> Radiation was very much in the news. Fuck oh. off have they got Stan Lee on this. How did they manage to get Stan Lee on Ancient Aliens? No, this is, this is, you know what they did to um, Carrie Fisher? Yeah, this no, the <laughs> they don't have the technology for this. This is, they've, they've... How has he fucking <laughs> agreed to this? This is Andy Serkis in a mocap suit. And Kepri, the ancient Egyptian god of the morning sun. It's a beetle. Egyptian deity Kepri is shown as either... It's a fucking beetle. Or as a human with the head of a beetle. It's a beetle. What are they trying to tell us here about Kepri? Could he have been? He could have been a beetle. I'm sorry, no fucker. I, I, that's not feasible. Yeah. What's the point in the legs no. there? There's no point in the fucking legs there. It's like the eyes would be facing up. You'd be looking at yeah. the sky constantly. Might the entire human species have been created by extraterrestrial genetic experiments in the past? No. <laughs> could our genetic memory of this be the reason? <laughs> I don't fucking think so. I think that's a reason. Genetic memory. Stories of hybrids and mutants actually inspired by an ancient alien intervention. Oh, ancient alien. Oh, that we go. With our alien past. Alien past. Well, they're cramming in the alien quota just at the last 10 minutes, are they? May 2001. Oh, great, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, maybe not for that area of the United States. For the first eight months. Every culture around the world talks about an intervention. What the fuck is that? What is that? That's an omelette with a face <laughs> and arms. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty sus. You're kissing a swan. You know how it's illegal, like, the queen tells you off if you kill a swan? Yeah. What happens if you, like, neck on with a swan? Would the queen still tell you off, do you think? Are you not allowed to do that? Uh... Because it's like, it's, it's like it's like an extension of her. You effectively be, like, kissing the queen, kind of, because it's, like, her property. I would neck the queen. It'd be like kissing Prince Charles, wouldn't it? Like, if you kiss a swan. Oh, okay. I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't do that. But I'd neck on with Prince Charles, for sure. Just just to say I have. I'd, I'd absolutely, no word of it, I'd absolutely slam arse. With the queen. You slam ass with the queen. I mean, given the opportunity. 100%. What, are we talking 2022 Queen Liz that's like 90-something years old? Oh, right now. I mean, yeah, it's, it, that's like a that's like a trophy shack, isn't it? Just for the vibe. That's a proper trophy shack. It's just a good it's just a good story down the pub. Yeah, no, like, like you know, some people would be like, oh, yeah, I shagged a so-and-so, welfare. I'm like, oh, yeah? I've shagged the queen. I've shagged the queen. How can you top that? They'll, they'll, they'll get out of their phone and go on Instagram and be like, oh yeah, oh this is who I got with last night. I'll get out a 50 pound note. <laughs> and be like, this, this, is, this is who I was with last night. Face to face with our alien ancestors. Alien! Yeah! Oh, one for the road, is it?